Hello people, let us look at in this video the classification of hypertension and pregnancy. First of all, learn some basic terminologies which uh, applies to everybody on earth. Hypertension, what is hypertension guys? Hypertension is blood pressure greater than or equal to 140 by 90 millimeter of mercury which is measured, you know it should be uh, measured 6 hours apart 2 times and if both the times it is coming as greater than or equal to 140 by uh, 90 millimeter of mercury if it is coming greater than this both the times then you will call that person as hypertensive okay so uh, understand that uh, the person should not be some exercising or something so it is at a normal state that you will check this and they will be you will classify them as hypertensive there's one more terminology called as protein urea protein urea is urine will have protein protein and urine okay so uh, in this the cutoff they are giving is a very low cutoff greater than or equal to 0.3 gram for 24 hours if it is there then you are calling it as uh, protein urea so these are two terminologies that you can apply to anybody on earth even me you men also hypertension they can have protein urea they can have now let us come to pregnancy okay so uh, what you are seeing here this box this is showing a woman who is already having hypertension before the pregnancy okay so she is called as a chronic hypertension that is she is a known case of hypertension before pregnancy okay so uh, before 20 weeks of pregnancy itself she has you can detect hypertension in her okay now what happens with the onset of uh, uh, this uh, pregnancy she will develop protein urea okay the occurrence of new onset of protein urea in women who are uh, having chronic hypertension that becomes superimposed preeclampsia okay if she's developing protein urea then you're calling it as a superimposed preeclampsia okay so she's a chronic hypertension with superimposed preeclampsia so did you understand so uh, a chronic hypertension uh, that means she has hypertension before pregnancy she's developing protein urea now during pregnancy you can see it is a superimposed preeclampsia okay if she's developing seizures superimposed eclampsia now come to this blue box here this lady has no history of hypertension. She is not a known case of hypertension. Okay. So, this uh, woman here, she develops hypertension for the first time after 20 weeks of pregnancy. Okay. Then she is pregnancy induced hypertension or gestational hypertension. So, what is pregnancy induced hypertension or gestational hypertension? Can you define it? It is uh, hypertension that is greater than or equal to 140 by 90 millimeter of mercury for two times you are measuring six hours apart for the first time in pregnancy after 20 weeks without a protein urea if protein urea is there it becomes a preeclampsia so hold on she has not developed pre uh, protein urea yet so she is gestational hypertension or pregnancy induced hypertension is the word you are using now the same hypertension if it gets added up with protein urea this is gestational hypertension, not normal hypertension. This is gestational hypertension, which gets added with protein urea. She becomes preeclampsia. Can you tell me if a woman already already has hypertension, now she develops protein urea? What do you call her? She, you call her as a superimposed preeclampsia. Only preeclampsia means she was fine before pregnancy. Now this preeclampsia patient, that is who has gestational hypertension with protein urea, now she develops seizures or she goes into coma. Seizures and or coma then you will call it as eclampsia eclampsia preeclampsia gestational hypertension these all are indicating that she was perfectly fine before the pregnancy now as a complication of this preeclampsia that is um, she can develop complications the complications are help syndrome they are called as help syndrome there will be a triad what is that hemolysis elevated liver enzymes and low platelet count this is called as help syndrome what is help syndrome it's a complication of preeclampsia okay high blood pressure during pregnancy so preeclampsia means there should be protein urea what is help syndrome then help syndrome definition yes it's a complication of preeclampsia that is the definition given by the textbook so these people will have to have protein urea okay that's it so this is a complication of preeclampsia so this is the classification of hypertension and pregnancy so, a lady who already has hypertension, a lady who was not having hypertension before pregnancy and both of these preeclampsia complication can lead to HELP syndrome. Okay, they may not have hypertension also they are seeing sometimes this HELP syndrome people. Yeah, see here, it says here that HELP syndrome may develop even without maternal hypertension. But it's a complication of preeclampsia they are seeing. 